For ages, the sea has been considered a dangerous place to work. Whether in storm or heavy sea, there are always duties to be overcome. Aberking and Rasmussen has developed an innovative ship concept, which provides crew and passengers with the maximum comfort. SWATH stands for Small Water Plane Area Twin Hull. The displacement required for floating is concentrated on two submarine-like floating bodies, which are equipped with ride control fins. Conventional monohull ships possess a large water plane area, which applies to catamarans as well, and they can be regarded as divided monohull ships. Due to deformation of the water surface, there is a strong acting force on the ship's hull. Rolling, pitching and heaving during heavy sea is a compulsory subsequence. However, a swath does not follow the wave contour, as only the small cross-sections of the struts puncture the water surface. It merely does heaving movements, nearly at its own natural frequency. Thus, the vertical acceleration impact on the ship's body is far less. The design of a swath is far more complex than that of a normal ship. It enables an individual adaptation to specific wave conditions and to a desired seakeeping, together with various optimization parameters. This requires considerable computation efforts. Software tools developed especially for the swath design, calibrated according to the results of the already built swaths, form the basic condition for a modern swath design. Aberking and Rasmussen is one of the few high-tech shipyards that can fulfill these conditions consistently. The swath construction requires a high degree of specific experience and accuracy, a guarantee for the customer to receive first-class ships with a long life cycle. The construction parts, which are made almost totally out of aluminium, are mounted at Aberking and Rasmussen by qualified experts. In the production process of the swath tender, the company combines its long-term knowledge of hydrodynamics, robust, lightweight construction and aluminium technology. The buoyancy of a swath boat is maintained by two torpedo-like underwater bodies, which are connected to the upper platform by two struts. The cross-section on the water surface is minimized, thus only a minimum of the ship is exposed to the force of the waves. This is an absolute plus for the maneuvering behavior. The sea performance is excellent. It's like driving a car. The swath tender is neither severely thrown to the side, nor does its foreship drop into the wave troughs, as in the case of conventional ships. The degree of rolling and pitching is drastically smaller. Even a small swath boat offers a stable and manageable platform for work and leisure on high seas. During calm seas, monohulls and catamarans may be faster than swath ships. At increasing wave heights, as from 2 meters, a swath ship can travel a lot faster. It does not have to reduce its speed owing to too strong movements or slamming. Furthermore, the additional resistance due to passing the waves is much smaller. The vertical accelerations and thus the stress on ship and crew is considerably less than on conventional ships. Essential disadvantages of a mono hull compared with swath during voyage in higher sea state Clearly minimized shipboard comfort, fatigued crew due to high acceleration values, combined with a great probability of seasickness, dangerous ship movements and an excessive load on the hull construction. In operational areas with expectedly rough seas, swath technology renders completely new dimensions, especially to smaller crafts, in particular during daily or routine all-weather operations. For example, in pilot service. In close cooperation with German sea pilots, 
Aberking and Rasmussen has developed the Swath Tender and Pilot Station in the new concept Elbe Range at the entrance of Hamburg and the Kiel Canal. This extremely durable pilot transfer system was optimized for the tough conditions in the North Sea. The Swath Tender displaces 125 tons with a length of 25 meters and a width of 30 meters and a 2.70 meter draft. The powerful propulsion consists of two 790 kilowatt MTU diesels, which through two STN Atlas generators act upon one E motor, each in the hull segment. Via two fixed propellers each, the tender reaches a maximum speed of nearly 20 knots. The ships are constructed to operate in significant wave heights of up to 3.5 meters. Via one of the various transfer points, the pilot can reach the ship to be boarded in a safer manner than with previous boats. The pilots are enthusiastic. The ship is calm, it doesn't shake as much as before as the small ones. With this swath concept, directed at the future, the German sea pilots have achieved a quantum leap in modern pilot services. Part of the new Elbe range, pilot concept is the Swath Pilot Station Elbe, also designed and built by Aberking and Rasmussen. Replacing two conventional pilot ships, Elbe provides a reliable and comfortable base for 40 to 60 pilots, tender and station crew, under all weather conditions. It is not hard to imagine that this seaworthy and spacious ship type can serve in modified form as small cruise ship or as Coast Guard helicopter platform. The SWAF technology of Aberking and Rasmussen offers completely new perspectives for other operations. For example, in supplying oil platforms with crew and light provisions, in search and rescue duties, in marine research, in Navy missions and Coast Guard patrol. For smooth passenger transportation. Or for an enjoyable meal on rough sea. The main advantages of the SWAT system, summarized once again. Ship's motion is drastically reduced. Even smaller swath crafts can operate safe and comfortable in almost any kind of weather. Even under heavy sea state, they're able to cruise close to their maximum. Aberking and Rasmussen has achieved with its unique swath concept to offer maximum comfort for passengers and full operational readiness for ship crews. A and R SWAF have shown top performance in tough operations at sea, day by day. The German company Aberking and Rasmussen, located in Lemberda, combines modern shipbuilding with high productivity since 1907. Today's development into a high-tech shipyard is also due to the importance which was always given to the tradition of craftsmanship. For example, yacht building. Here, Aberking and Rasmussen combines all disciplines of modern shipbuilding. The company is one of the world's top specialists in high-end yacht building. In the demanding field of Navy shipbuilding, Aberking and Rasmussen is considered to be one of the most experienced German shipyards. Also in maintenance and repair, the company has become a strong partner of the navies. In building modern specialized ships, the Lemverda company continuously demonstrates its perfect sense for new markets. A&R also very successfully applies its innovations in constructing various composite products as shown here in the production of rotor blades for wind energy converters. 
the name Abiking and Rasmussen stands for more than 90 years of research, development and construction of very outstanding ships and yachts. With a new swath generation, the company has extended its product range by a further high-tech ship.